Well, welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Your host with the most, maybe not, Mr. Miller, I mean Tommy Miller, a.k.a. Mr. Blue. I got that all backwards, didn't I? Folks, we, I just want to show y'all what this looks like at night time. Um, the guy's been working really hard and, uh, they, uh, well, here in a little bit, I'm going to go into details about the money. Uh, I'm trying to watch this right here. It's almost, I'm going to speed up time just a little bit. I'm uh, almost there. Get to 40. Oh, workers going home. What workers? Oh, okay. Well, th that's going to be uh, at, at tomorrow. I'll show y'all that. Okay, I got to get this little guy right here. Slow my speed down first. Pick him up. Uh, I'm going to throw them in this first house. We'll get all these working. Uh, we actually got several more now. We got six total. Um, what I done was sold these two that was back here originally. That made... Oh, ah, ooh, darn bees. Uh, the ones that made these little bitty ones. I sold them. We, we're going to stick with the ones that make some pallets. Ow, ooh, ow, ow. Hey. I'm not supposed to bite at night time. But anyway, we have six houses. And, uh, Adam's on 76. And these are almost ready to go to 500. And, uh, we also got another one back here. And, uh, well, Mr. Blue, how you, how you afford to buy all those things? Well, I'm going to tell you that when it gets daylight. Right now, I'm just doing this to, this one's at 38, so speed up time just a little bit more. Um, folks, Nick the Hick, or Nick the Hick, I, I, I'm sorry, sorry I'm butchering that, but y'all know who I'm talking about. It's Hick the Nick or Nick the Hick does an excellent mod review on these beehives um the pallets on the side is this part of uh this building growing when you got two on the side you know it's working pr properly uh let's see i'm gonna take this one up here i want to start on these front ones get them going The more you got in here, the faster it'll make, is what it is. When you get four of them in here, only got two in that, and, and there's one in this one. And these two here, it's got four. They're fully functional. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get needs across the front here, going first, then the back ones. But anyway, uh, I got two of these so to make the beehives faster. Once it gets done uh, filling these six houses up here, we're going to delete the one here in the front. And then we'll probably put some more hives up. Uh, we're going to turn them around though. Fix them where when they get full, we can just drive the truck down through here or a front loader or something and then pick these pallets up. But anyway, I just want to show you what the lights look like on these at night. So, um, I will see you in the morning. Well, it'd be just a second for y'all, but it'd be a couple hours for me. I gotta... I should be able to skip night and everything be alright. I know I have to check them as soon as I uh, go to morning so but anyway i'll be back in just a second folks oh well hey there good morning to you <clears throat> yeah it finally decided to rain folks again 
So just thank God we got everything planted in the ground and and kind of put away. Um, what's that? What? What is that thing? And yes, it's still raining through the buildings. He's going a little far. Yeah, I guess we can only put one pallet here because it kept on saying no more room. No more room. Oh, I got to change him a little bit. He's, he's off track. He's supposed to go way up there. All right, Mr. Robot, let's reprogram you. I got him set to a thousand uh, on the change angle is 1000 um, my little crosshair here lined up and that should do it now these will work as long as you don't max out their food you max out their food you're gonna be in trouble and let's look at that see right now I got everything half and half on, on the sheet. That's why I like to not fill them up all the way. So, uh, yeah. And as you can see right here, we do have uh, wrap, or rape food or wrap food, distilled corn, uh, distilled corn and wrap food, sunflowers on the uh, pigs here also. And I'm fixing to show y'all that here in just a minute. Um, I need to get the forks. Let's get the forks here hooked up real quick. Turn our lights on. Make sure we uh, ever, nobody hits us. Now, this thing is pretty neat inside. I would love to operate one of these in a way. Oh, come on, all the same. It, 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 it's just kind of weird how it turns. I mean, one, which I guess it's all right that the front turns, that way you can see what's going on. All right, we got our forks loaded up or locked on. We gotta go get this bell real quick, that way we can start generating some more. I uh, took care of the bees this morning. Um, like I said, as soon as we came out of the uh, fast forwarding state, you know, where it zips to the next morning, uh, which was 6 a.m., they uh, had two beehives there waiting for me. So I'm like, oh, look at the And, uh, we're going to have to get one of these things down, or some, we got one of these things down at the uh, meal area down there. So, uh, what we're going to do is carry some forks down there, buy a set of forks. Alright, hopefully it will regenerate a pallet and that thing is not in the way. Because sometimes I have to keep this mood well out of the way uh, just to. Uh, You know, for it to respond. Um, oh, my grass is working pretty good. Uh, I had to give them a, a bell before I fast forward the time. Let's see, here's gonna be a little bump here. Oh, 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 yep. Oh, okay. All I had to do is stretch my arm out, probably. Uh, first full pallet of wool. Oh, one I kill it for. Not a bad habit that. Uh, let's see here. Our water is okay. So, um, I'm just going to put this back under the shed. Go ahead and kill those lights, and we're going to take our beacon lights off. Oh, y'all hear that, folks? I ain't showed y'all this. Uh, I don't. You know we have it. Oh, I don't want to show you that. 
Come on now. There we go. Let's go walk out in the rain. Take a look at this thing. It's activated right now. Our water trailer is full. And we got 30,195 liters in this thing. Uh, and, whoa. You see water transferring 168. And it's transferring over to the stored part. So, uh, this thing is working awesome. So we don't have to buy no water. So far. And so far, yeah. But, uh, let me, uh, go hop in this thing real quick so I can show you the other one. The other one? Yes, folks. Oh, oh, oh. Let's show you this first. Uh, finally moved the, uh, IT runner tank out of the way and place this down where it's supposed to be <laughs> instead of out in the field it's supposed to hold 8,000 liters but here it's showing 5,000 uh, it's also got a thing on the side so I don't know really what's up with it oh my god what happened here hmm okay okay um, I did put a full load and three quarters of the other trailer was full uh, into that and that was off of the North Farm field. I went ahead and done that because I knew it's going to have to fast forward time. And let me take you to the map here real quick. Let's see. Grass is on. Go to grow. As you can see, I got this strip harvest and this strip harvest. And there wasn't none there to really get because of the sugar beets there. Uh, still got seven and four to go. So, uh, yeah, we got Junior and Kong and Julian um, monitoring the robots for us. So that's why their name's showing up on them. Yeah. Hop back into this. And here we go. And he's getting all set too. <sighs> Let me reset here. It's on fire. I don't know if that's cause uh, you know at night all the workers go home at ten o'clock, and from ten to seven, uh, there's nobody working, and these robots is taking up the workers so but I got him set on a thousand you can't see it right now but like I said as long as you don't fill up the food all the way these little babies will work wonders um, here's a charging station forgot to show you one of the sheeps now you might not get it as close as I did unless you get the place anywhere mod. I am using that and it is really working out. So see that frees up this tractor. Only time we'll need this tractor now is when we need to get some uh, pig food for them. So 54,893 there folks. Okay that's in that. All this, I got to fast forward time just a little so this rain will hurry up. Um, our pig foods, I brought some down here. Uh, I think there's still some in the uh, the main farm uh, pallet storage. Um, let me see here. Uh, trying to think, trying to think. Uh, I need to, uh, let me teleport real quick. I know this ain't realistic, but I got something down here to show y'all. Oh, I would place it myself inside one of those. Alright, this is much better. Okay, well, y'all know I, <laughs> Mr. Blue, we know that. Well, folks, we have, let me find it, 56% of milk in here. So I won't have to bring the milk down here, but we are stacking up on the milk. What the? Uh, what the? Uh, yes, folks. Um, let's see. I need to go in this end. Go in place the bulls. 
I think it's this steel corn factory. It's this thing right here. Um, Ten dollars a day, uh, thirty thousand dollars. Now, how do I get that money to get the beehives and stuff like that? Well, let me turn. Well, here, let me uh, show y'all this real quick. This is still distilled corn. We can use it on our cows and stuff. And I'll show y'all again, just in case you're just not popping in. Distilled corn is one of the power food options. So yeah. So we're getting that. This uh, I think eight. No, I got seventy thousand liters of corn in here. And folks. We done got 16,458 liters of fuel. Fuel we can sell right over there. There's a trigger now. But, reason why I got this. Pick up liquid fertilizer here. And we got 16,458. So, we can use the liquid fertilizer for our spraying. And I think since we're getting a liquor fertilizer, I'm probably going to go in to whatever sprayer we got and uh, kind of up the spraying a little bit on it. Um, our fuel trigger, milk trigger is somewhere over here if I can find it. I placed a fuel trigger right here and it works uh, with our other fuel. Uh, we can sell it here. I forgot to do my pigs. Uh, there's our milk trigger. When we'll go to sale. So, um, oh, perfect. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna give him a little bit of few, uh, food, fluid, food, food. And uh, I know this ain't realistic, and some of y'all gonna probably hammer me over this, but go over it, folks. I, I'm not, uh, I can say, I'm not daggering. Not by any means. Uh, I wish I could be like daggering, be that realistic. Uh, I probably could if I just wanted to. Alright, uh, I think that should be enough. Let me double check, make sure. Yep, see there. Pigs are full again. Just got to do that. Keep that daggum writing off of there. Sew that back in the back so I can get it again. So I know which one's which. Um, let's see here. I got these down here to sheep. Uh, we're fixing to start field seven. Uh, um, as soon as we get a chance. Uh, let's. Take a look at the uh, cows, folks. We have 4,319 liquid manure and uh, 1,129 at the pigs' liquid manure. Ain't enough to get yet. Um, the solid manure come after harvest. At harvest time, we probably get a uh, bigger manure spreader. And actually use some of that. Um, they'll need a grass bale. And they're going to need some power food. I got working on the power food. But I got a big dilemma folks. A very big dilemma. Um, get right here. You can see I already put a bale of straw in our mixer. And let's run over here real quick. I'm going to speed time up just a little bit more because I don't want this whole episode be rain. But uh, our grass bells, straw bells work. But I come back here. And I'm going to turn this way so y'all can see it. When I, about right there, you should see it drop. Alright, I'm going to get... Ah, I'm going to get two bells out. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, it's taking too long. And bam. No bells. 
I, I don't know what's what's the deal so all of them is like that I even tried these and uh, I hit two hit okay it takes a little bit and BAM no bells so I really don't know what to do you know <sighs> It's not our fault we are losing this much, but could that be something in real life? You know, uh, you know, I don't, I can't. How, how many bales this thing holds? Let's go over and check it out real quick. I won't take that, but a second. It's right here. Uh, yeah, right here. Fifty-four bales on each one of them. 54 bales, folks. Ah, so that's one, two, three. Uh, be 50, be 50, 100, 150. Four, four, eight, 12. So it'd be. 162 if I'm not mistaken uh, 62 be uh, 64 66 68 70 72 74 76 78 178 bales we are losing now, I haven't tried to silage. I know the grass works. Let's try the silage. See? That's how it's supposed to do. See how fast that was? The silage working. It's just the hay that's not working. So, um, put these back in here real quick. I think what I'm going to do is just, ah, I don't want to change all. These are great mods, but I just, I, I don't know, folks. I'm thinking about going back to the straw ones. I mean, to the square ones. Let's go check our chickens while we're here. Okay, they're doing pretty good. And, uh, I, I'm so sorry to, you. I should keep up with this I probably should have went back or wrote it down but somebody said I ran over to the chickens uh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry but uh, I gotta have food for supper right no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding folks here's our little stove thing about cutting that tree down putting in there but uh yeah our chickens are something else they're going everywhere uh, we're at 43 chickens. I actually thought about buying. I know I don't have the money. Oh yeah, I, I can explain the money. Let's um, go down to here. Uh, light, light tone. Oh well. I got to pick up a stump grinder and get those stumps there. These guys done an excellent job and... I know my oh yeah it's on okay good I'm just pretend I'll fly my drone folks <laughs> it's the flight mode but uh these guys come in they started over there made a trail in behind these furs speed up a little bit and um they didn't take none on this side I don't think except for up here but look at what they've done folks they came in and just wiped out this entirely within hours I wish I got it on film it would have been awesome to capture that but they come in cut the trees down got rid of stumps took like a bulldozer bulldoze this up and then come in here leveled it off and packed it for us so i just wish i had the money i thought about taking out a loan speaking of loans 
uh, I'm down to 15000 on a loan. Which I got the money to pay it back. but And then I had to borrow some again. Oh, I forgot. There's a great demand for sellage. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Stop time. Stop time. We're going to sell some sellage, folks. But they got the, the gravels right here. Uh, I thought they was going to cut more of these trees. But they done a hundred trees. A hundred of them, folks. It don't look like it was that many out here, but from the beginning over to here, down this road here, um, there was a hundred trees. Now, the ones like this, these trees, little small bushes, uh, it was, they took two and counted as one, so that was a big difference too. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, uh, probably try, I'm going to turn my light on if y'all hear some noise, clipboard, I, I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget it, but the gentleman said that he cut down a hundred trees, and I'm going to put it on the screen here if I don't forget, a hundred trees times a thousand dollars, all right, that comes to one hundred thousand, plus their, uh, uh, fees for bringing their equipment and stuff out for doing it which if we kept the wood chips we wouldn't have to pay the fees but they kept the the, the trees they you know grind them down turn them into wood chips and stuff like that so that processing fee came to ten thousand dollars which brought it down to ninety thousand so we got ninety thousand dollars off of this but that's where I turn around and put all that into, I bought another beehive. Okay, I bought the, uh, not beehive, well, I had two of these and I bought four more, okay? And what is that on? 22, okay, I'm still pretty good. But I bought this here and four more of these buildings since the other two wasn't the other two was putting out the small boxes ow, ooh, ow, that you see there so um but this is dedicated to the bees on over here I'm gonna buy some factories and put them in um I think this ground is leveled enough I hope but we're going to bring put some factories in here so we can start um, I hit the wrong button. Let me go over to Placeables real quick so I can show these to y'all. Which I think I already have. But let's see. Let's go back this way. Um, also, I bought this. So this is ours. So we make we get all the fertilizer and fuel and stuff off of it. Going the wrong way, Mr. Blue. There we go. Uh, of course, I bought the fuel tank for the cow. I need to buy another one for the north farm and buy another one for the main farm and take those other ones out, the ones that's in-game. Uh, I bought a selling trigger, which is at the uh, market area. But this is the two factories I want to put in. Uh, both of them gives us fuel. Um, I don't know really what. <laughs> I can't remember folks. I'm sorry but. Uh, what do we get? Fuel and manure from it? Two hundred liters of fuel per hour. But I guess you can put canola and sunflowers in it, and you get manure and fuel from it. And this in here, you get power food. It's what it says. 
Oh wait, what? Right here it says pig. Forge R pig protein. So my it's power food and R pig food. But yeah, you put canola and sunflowers in and you get fuel for sure and then whatever this is. I wish it would tell us. But Nick the Hick. Yeah, that's his name. Nick the Hick. Uh, was doing mods on this so that's uh what we're gonna put we're gonna put these two in this spot here folks and then we'll probably put other things like solar panels and stuff like that we got a lot of room here we don't want to put too much and make it lag but um and i hate to do this but as you can see the gross I've have all the missions done. I can't work no more for the other people until it's harvest time, I guess. Um, but we got barley and barley. We got sugar beets, sugar beets, uh, canola, canola, sunflowers, corn. Uh, <laughs> planter messed up right here. I didn't get a strip going straight through. I had him set where he's supposed to be, and then he got down here and turned this way without me watching him. And that's what you get. He came back through and went all the way through to here and stopped. Well, I caught him right here and stopped him. So, corn, 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 soybeans, and big field here are soybeans. Okay, so that's what we got. That's the growth on them. And this is the soil. This is maxed out. All of our fields are maxed out. Now, I don't know why. Well, 17. I need to see if 17 is ready to spray yet. And 18. I'm sorry. 17 and 18 is not maxed out. All the others are. And I don't know why I can't do missions on these. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying. So, uh, yeah, that's that, and uh, I think we had a great demand somewhere for something. Sellage, it is. Where is it at? Can the livestock? It's not very high, because you can go right here and sell it for 320 Huh. Three hundred twenty dollars for every thousand liters. Now I do have solage. Um, we'll probably go ahead and sell a load right here at the sale point. Ask the new one. Let's give the ladies some uh, that, and we can have some money too. And we just gotta find the semi. Oh, did y'all see that? Yeah, but hey, hey now, the pallet I grabbed was from right here, so that one's over there, so I know it'll generate two now, it should come out here, let's, let's see if we can see, if we can see that trigger, after the auto save, come on now, there we go, um, And it's not giving me a trigger for that. Oh, wow. Unless it's taking the trigger with it. <laughs> okay, that's out of that. We got a runner semi. Here's semi. There's one. Okay, Betsy. Uh, here's our fuel trailers. We're getting quite a bit of fuel trailers. Um, time we get all these. Ah, here's our semi. Oh, it would be up here. It would be up here. Ah, right, folks. I know you probably don't want to see me doing all this traveling. Um... 
Gotta take this truck all the way back to the cows. So, let's see. Perfect transport. Market to cow farm. And when I get up here, I'll drive the course. Um, and that's where we got to go, right there, where the bat signal is. So uh, it'll, it'll give us a little extra cash that way I can go ahead and pay the loan off. And um, I'm going to try to catch these other missions. I'm going to see if our field is ready to fertilize first. I can't forget that. All right, I should take over right here. So drive course. Stop at the last. Um, yeah. All right. I'll show y'all one more thing while that's going coming here. Um, might have to hook the baler up so we can get us some hay. Um, I'll take the six R and the Magnum. Is this the Magnum? Yeah, Magnum CVX. Hook it up to the baler and hook the six R up to the tether. And as soon as the wetness symbol where it says ten up there. That blue teardrop has to disappear before we cut grass to be able to get our full full potential out of it. So I would like to chaff some more, but uh, it just we got to get some stuff to you know maybe we we'll get a load of distilled corn. We just I don't know anything that would hold out. Hmm. Hang on a second. Let's uh go in our placeables here. Huh, this see it won't hold. It won't do it. Um that's a small one. That's that and this don't have nothing for distilled corn. Uh let's see here. Um nope. Uh, well, that's the hunky dory, uh, mass storage. What's the symbol for distilled corn? Um, I guess it's that symbol. Let's see, I'm gonna go over. I uh, know it don't give us no symbol. Huh. Well. Go back over. Let's see that. Oh, no, I don't want to buy it. Glad I didn't have enough money. Whew. That's fertilize and pig food. I don't see no distilled corn. Let's see. Let's back out and go to here. Uh, da, 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 this does not do it either. Well, folks, we would have to just get a. a really don't know what would take it um, that holds it ah no 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 I don't want to buy I don't want to buy I quit double tapping um, the bagger takes it so we could bag it um, Look like all our tippers are going to take it, so. I 
Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I guess uh, we can get the bagger system and, and bag the distilled corn when it gets full. I can probably go get probably about 4,000 liters would be all we would need if the oh I, I gotta check that out folks does our mixer even take it um this in here yeah this in here oh nope see that don't handle it does the big one where's the big one I see that and don't and that and don't so we can oh, I don't think we can mix it then Huh. Well. well that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hook up to the... Oh, wrong way. Zoom in here. And see, there's a trailer in here. I didn't even know we had. Yeah, I missed my icon. Yep, there's the icon. Yeah, those are pretty good trailer that's for the bobcat on skid steer whatever you want to call it all right this guy's hooked up to the baler we're gonna leave it that might be the next episode folks because i'm already getting uh, quite a bit here um i can get solids out of there oh we gonna uh do the solids i forgot about that we're gonna have to move some stuff around for the semi. It should be getting here. Yep, right around the corner. Let's move these wagons out of the way and move the baler out of the way. Load up uh, some sullage and then I'll do a jump cut uh, after we get it loaded and stuff, get it up to the sale point. That's out park these here in a minute just leave it sitting right there I'm gonna go over here get the baler out of the way I'm just gonna back up in the shed I got room hope so there we go and a lot of times when you back up these things the tractors and stuff Make sure you put them past the door because when you start the game, save the game and restart, those doors close sometimes. Oh, I see. Stop driver. I'm going to clear this out, but I'm not going to close it out because we've got to redo it. Alright, I want to. I have to back up here. I love this new Wilson grain trailer. If it doesn't mess up between now and harvest, we might end up getting us another one. And because uh, we're going to need to, especially seventy thousand liters. It's more realistic than the hundred thousand. I haven't. Uh, oh, I haven't figured out what the leaders are compared to actual bushels I know this can hold roughly is it going? oh yeah yeah there you go take it baby take it I do know a trailer like this will hold anywhere from 8 to uh, 800 to 1000 bushels so 100,000 liters might be right I really don't know. But anyway, folks, I'm going to get this loaded. And then uh, I will meet y'all at the sale point with a jump cut here. So I will be right back in a second. All right, folks. I made it down here. And my phone goes off by the time I go to record. <laughs> That's just my Gmail. Let me know. All right. We're fixing to see what these ladies going to be up to. See if I can get on this scale right. Let's see. Let's hit our electric tarp. All right. I'm 
there to the ladies. And hopefully tell me when to stop. Uh, where can I go? Oh, my dollies are holding me up. The legs on the trailer. I noticed going down the road, something was like it was hitting. Well, this is embarrassing. Sorry, ladies. I'm going to have to back on. There's always something in line. Well, I know this trailer won't be coming to this dump on a course play route. Be getting hung up all the time. So that's strike one, or strike one against it. And I'm way too far over. Oh, crap. I'm going to run over the lady. One of them. Un's inside. I don't want to run over none of them. All right, watch me get hung up going this way. Oh, 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 there's the point. And as you can see, I'm $318 up there. I went ahead and paid the loan back. Let's check it out. Uh, loan is zero now, folks. So we got pure profit now. This is just our money. We're going to try not to take out a loan no more. Uh, I know it's like <laughs> lying to y'all, you know, because Mr. Blue loves taking out, spending other people's money and stuff. $22,323 harvest income. Cannot beat that, folks. Cannot beat that. Alright, well, I'm going to leave it here with y'all folks. I'm going to... I don't know if I need to make another load or not. Let's take a look real quick. Um, Alright, 226, 251, 254. I don't know if I want to go. You know, I can't remember what this was. Wasn't it 300 and... 314, I think. I have to go back and look. Um, I'm going to get a... I don't know. I just... It seems like... That's a good price, but that's per thousand liters. Uh, it takes a long time just to make 40 liters. Uh, wool is up to 9,600. Uh, everything else just low. Um, like I said, I took 70,000 liters out of our corn, so we got 93 left. But folks, yeah, I'm going to leave this with, with y'all. Uh, when we come back, we'll probably be doing uh, some mowing, tedding stuff, maybe. Uh, if I can get this blue teardrop to go down. Got to keep an eye on our uh, beehives, uh, which is kind of a nuisance. But I, I'm going to try to time it and see how many hours it takes to make 40 liters of those things. Uh, but anyway... I appreciate all y'all coming out, watching, showing your love and everything, folks. Uh, don't forget, I got a pay, PayPal account and a GoFundMe account uh, down below in the description. Y'all feeling generous? See right there? It, it hangs on everything. So this trailer is going bye-bye. I can't help it. Um, get a little bit more money up now trade it out. We gotta trade it out before harvest because that's gonna really mess up. See how it's doing going down the road? Be in the middle of the road like this and all of a sudden it'll hit something. 
Watch it, won't do it when I. Yeah, say, whoa! Right there. Y'all was a witness. Y'all was a witness. Y'all saw that. I don't know what's doing it. I didn't do it till I got this trailer, so. I think what I'm going to do is make another load of silage. Hopefully. I'm going to do something, folks. Get that money up there. And, uh, I will, uh, tell you about it on the, uh, next, uh, video. Or, I mean, uh, I can't do two things at once, y'all can tell. <laughs> okay, now we're going. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell y'all about it on the next episode. And, uh, man, I'm ready for harvest, folks. I am ready for harvest. Right, let's look at that real quick. Uh, two more days. Two more days and we should be able to harvest our wheat, barley, and canola. Poor guy. He, he's trying. He is definitely trying. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta get another trailer. I'm gonna make another load or two and then see if it'll be enough to get us a trailer and trade this in. The end. Well, anyway, folks, uh, don't forget the, my accounts down below PayPal and GoFundMe. Uh, Twitter, I don't necessarily check, it's just there for sharing my videos. Uh, Instagram, if I can catch the pop-up, I can be able to chat with you there, but I prefer Facebook and YouTube. So, make sure you leave a comment down below uh, for YouTube if you want to. If not, you can go to Facebook and, and add me as a friend over there, and if for some reason you can't add me, just let me know down below on the YouTube and uh, search your name and add you myself. But anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for the love. Thank you for 500 subscribers plus. Y'all are just amazing, wonderful people. I can't tell that enough. It, it, Y'all just amazing. That's all I can say, folks. 100% amazing. So till next time, y'all hit that like button. Smash that red button if you're new. And if you're returning, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And folks, <laughs> I gotta shut up. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later.